Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're taking a look at Kinu's M47 Classic Hand Grinder. This is the top of the line Kinu Hand Grinder, manufactured to be a precise and reliable instrument, placing the grinding of beans as foremost when brewing a cup of coffee. It's made completely from solid steel, bar a few small components. You have a steel handle, steel grind adjustment mechanism, steel funnel, a steel body with steel brackets, 47 millimeter steel conical burrs, a steel spring and axle, and even a steel grinds catcher. You'll also notice the steel trimming on the otherwise ABS plastic handle. It adds a nice touch, and I'm not too sure why they didn't make the handle steel as well. But with all this steel, it still only weighs 1.1 kilograms. And for the amount of effort it takes to hold this thing, which isn't much, that's completely offset by how easy it is to grind with. And to quickly demonstrate how the M47 performs, I have a 25 gram dose of lightly roasted coffee, and I've got the classic set for a large Chemex brew, so a little bit coarser than medium. Now the classic can grind up to 35 grams of beans at a time, and will grind across a full range of brewing methods. That includes Turkish grind, espresso brewing, mocha pot and pour overs like the V60 and Chemex, as well as immersion brewers like Aeropress and the French press. And why not throw in cold brew while we're here? Now it will take longer, but not much longer, to grind the finer you go. But even at the fine espresso settings, it's butter smooth action, getting through a full dose in under one minute. And the grinds that come out of the Classic are comparable to the very best of hand grinders. And there's a reasonably tight particle size distribution, considering it's still a hand grinder. And it's the ability of the Classic to produce quality grinds that greatly influences the extraction of your coffee and ultimately brings out the best flavors in your cup. Now, Kinu have been very responsive to constant improvements in all of their grinders. And I believe with the version three of the Classic, the tolerances in the auto centering and ultimately the burr set is like under 0.02 millimeters, which is like half the width of a human hair. And my takeaway from that is, that's far more than I ever expected from a hand grinder. Now the other great features of the Classic are you have the click feel setting on the handle and grind settings. This is driven by a ball bearing and indents on the bottom of the adjustment wheel. It sort of gives you a nice tactile feedback during grind adjustments and grinding the coffee. It's not super loud at all and can be removed if you preferred. And one thing I love about Kinu grinders is you can always find the zero point using the marker on the drive hub. There are 10 numbers and four notches between each number on the adjustment wheel as well, which makes up 50 settings per rotation. Now Kinu has accurately provided the exact distance the burrs move with each mark. And at one one hundredth of a millimeter, your espresso setting or generally the finest you'll want to grind with the Classic is somewhere around two full rotations of the wheel. And this should give you some perspective of the spectrum these grinders dialing in capabilities are. Being very meticulous with those settings, they are universal across all Kinu models, so you can share yours and use other brewers' grind settings to replicate brews. To quickly explain how to interpret Kinu grind settings, you'll generally see three numbers. The first number correlates to how many rotations are made from the zero point. The second number relates to the numbers seen on the wheel, so adjust to the number after your full rotation. And the third number relates to the four markings between each number. And if you don't see that second or third number, it just means that there are no further adjustments required. The 47 millimeter steel conical burrs are something Kinu say are black fusion treated burrs. And this is a proprietary coating that Kinu place on the burrs after manufacturing, and it's meant to protect the burrs so they perform at their best for longer. And in terms of the grinding spectrum, the Classic, like all of Kinu's grinders, is well suited to the espresso grinding. But the quality, even at those coarser settings, although not as great as the best automatic grinders, these coarse grinds look to be far greater than a majority of other hand grinders. Now the Classic's grind catcher made from steel can hold 35 grams in it, and it seems to have solved that lip catching issue on previous models with an inserted rise. So now grinds easily flow out and the 11 magnets seen inset on the top of the cup attach to the body quite easily with a snap. It's really secure and unlikely to ever fall off. The other detail I like about the catcher is that it has an O-ring on the bottom of the cup. So when you place it down on the bench, 
You're not banging up the metal and it's anti-slipping too, so you can effectively grind a dose whilst holding down the grinder to the bench and it's not gonna be slipping around the place. And during grinding, there's also that handy thumb stop at the top of the grinder. And this helps ensure the grinder is not slipping in your hands. I've actually preferred to use my pointer finger and wrap this around, kind of like holding a trigger. It just feels more natural to me that way. Now you'll want to take good care of this grinder. You just will. And the maintenance on the Kinu is really easy and involves unscrewing the top nut, removing the handle and the drive hub, unscrewing the adjustment wheel, and then slowly lowering out the drive shaft out the bottom of the grinder to access the burrs and the inside of the body. And I would keep the areas around the top of the grinder free of any dust or grinds buildup by taking a cloth to it, and then all the parts wipe them down, wipe the burrs down with a brush before placing it all back together. Note, you do not want to be using any water during cleaning on your Kinu. And that's the Kinu Classic M47 hand grinder for you. Now it could be said this is the ultimate hand grinder. With the goat of hand grinders yet to be claimed though, the Classic M47's exceptional build quality, the integrity of its tolerances, and the consistency of its grinding performance certainly places it high on that list. And I'd happily recommend this grinder to anyone wanting to make an investment in brewing exceptional coffee with the very best of instruments. If you have any questions on the Kinu Classic M47, then throw them in the comment section below and we'll get straight back to you. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon on your screen and that way you stay notified when we bring out new videos just like this every week. If you've enjoyed the video, you can hit a thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.